Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this content and would like to see more, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I am really, really excited. I am going to be talking about the new Hourglass holiday collection. So this is what arrived. So I've got everything in here and I wanted to go through this with you as soon as possible because I know that it has just been launched on the Hourglass website and actually isn't available in stores yet. I believe the launch date, 25th of September. Today, I just wanted to go through this collection with you. And I've also got the confession lipsticks, which I will do, I will swatch on my arm and I will also show you on my lips what they look like and I will go through the different quads that have been launched so let's do that together now so it's really exciting the three things that I've got is the first thing is the ambient lighting edit sculpture so this has six colors in here now from what I read three of these colors are the ones that are the most popular colors and then th there are three new colors okay so let's go through the six colors that are in here the first one is the finishing powder which is dim light which is one of the most popular ones. The other finishing powder in here is Diffuse Light, which again is a popular one. And then the third one, which I know is available as a blush, is Mood Exposure, which is number six. Number three is a strobe powder, Glistening Strobe Light, that's brand new. Uh, number four is a bronzer, Natural Bronze Light, and that's brand new. And number five is a strobe blush, which is Vibrant Blush, and I know that is a new one as well. This is what it comes in. So it's got the usual hourglass, gorgeous packaging when you open it up. You've got sort of the cardboard around it. There are sort of instructions to kind of help you as well. And this is what the palette looks like. Now, in the previous palettes, and I've bought most of the holiday palettes for the last sort of couple of years, as you know, the previous one, which was the Ghost Collection, was in the sort of sort of silvery plastic type of casing. And I think they took a lot of comments on board because people felt that perhaps the packaging wasn't really reflective of what Hourglass represented. So with this packaging, it's a lot more, I guess, refined and, and really beautiful. You've got the sculpture, so it has all these sharp edges, which is really, really nice. It's just kind of really luxurious. Let's open this up together. So these are the colors. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first one is dim light, which is this one. Then there's diffuse light. And then there is strobe powder, which is this one. And that's glistening strobe light. And then the fourth one here is a bronzer, which is natural bronze light. Then number five is here, which is strobe blush, vibrant flush. And then number six is here, which is again, another blush. And this is mood exposure. So like I said, the three existing shades and the ones that are most popular are these two and this one. The three new shades is this one, this one, and this one. So that is the palette. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. I thought I would show you how this looks on my skin. I am going to demonstrate kind of how I would use this palette. In the past, when I've bought a six pound palette like this, usually from Hourglass, I take it with me when I'm going somewhere because I find that it has pretty much everything I need to basically get a really good look. So I really wanted to recommend one of the hourglass brushes this is the one that's for the ambient lighting powder and what I love about it is I take this one when I go traveling with me but basically it's a dual ended brush what this allows you to do is to get into the powder really easily so you can not only use this side but you can use the other side as well and I always find that this is such a great accompaniment to this particular palette so today what I thought we could do is let's just have a little play with this palette and then we're going to look at the other accompanying palette as well. I'm going to pretend that I'm, you know, I'm just basically doing a quick look and using this palette. So what I'm going to do is take my brush and what I generally use is dim light. I will use like as an overall powder. So when I finished everything, I will use that if I don't have, let's say the vanish powder, which I absolutely love. And then the diffuse light, I have that separately. And what I tend to use that for as well is for after I have put some concealer on to set my concealer under my eyes. The new ones, the blushes, I'm looking forward to trying 
trying and the bronzer I'm looking forward to trying which I hope will show up on my skin and the two blushes look like they are going to show up as well so the third color is a strobe powder so it's more like a highlighter so I will use the one on the end as a highlighter which is the new color number three which is strobe powder glistening strobe light and then I'll use the bronzer and then I'll use the blush so what I will do perhaps is maybe use one blush on one side so you can see and then I use the, the uh, darker blush on the other side so you can have a comparison so let's start off what I generally do is I don't have any eyeshadow or primer or anything like that but what I will do is I will start off with a little bit of the diffuse light so I'm just going to tap into that and I'm going to put that just under my eyes I've just put some concealer on and this will be really good to to just set my concealer so the wonderful thing about hourglass is you can really build the product it's not too pigmented that you have to worry about blending it out it pretty much gives you a really natural finish so what i thought i would do now is i've done that so i'm going to start off with probably a bit of blush and then i'll go into the bronzer and then the highlight so let's put a little bit of blush on so i'm going to go in to the new one which is number five which is called strobe blush vibrant blush and like I said you get this beautiful marbling effect oh that's lovely so I don't know if you can see but I'm just going to go in a bit closer it's got like a strobing sort of effect on the blush makes it look really nice so it's just there I'm just putting it on there so it is showing on my skin it's giving a really nice sort of pinky pinky glow and then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the bronzer so I'm going to go in with my the sort of thicker side of the brush and just go into the bronzer so this is a new bronzer and this is in the color bronzer natural bronze light so let's have a look how that looks so I'm just going here what I usually do is take the bronzer and just do like a kind of number three just under the chin so I'd say this is showing up, but it's not like a really strong bronzer. I don't know if you can see it there, but I've put it on on my jawline just there. So I'm just blending it out and I'm just trying to put some here. I'd say that it is there, but it's not like mega, mega strong. I think you can see it more sort of when I turn. And it is a really nice look i think this palette is great if you kind of want an everyday palette that you can carry around in your purse and it kind of does everything so love that so what i now i'm going to do is do the other side so so this time i'm going to use the darker blush and which is number six which is mood exposure which i actually think i have but this is more like a kind of say like a kind of more maroony color you can definitely see it there showing up. And then I'm going to take the bronzer again, just do exactly the same thing I did, which is like the number three underneath the jawline, just like that. And just a little bit in just to create a nice bronzing effect. That is really nice. This side is the Strobe Blush, a vibrant flush, which I really like because it has a kind of subtle glow to it. Now I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to go into the new Strobe Light. So I'm just going to put that here. The same again. And then a little bit on my Cupid's bow. So I should be glowing now. So this is the six pan palette. Really, really lovely. Very, very natural. And yeah, kind of really does the job really. The other thing I didn't do was go into dim light and just go with the bigger brush all over. You'll notice that my face looks like it's glowing and that is the, the glow that Hourglass, that Hourglass can do and that not many other products can do. That makes it look like you're glowing from within, but it isn't obvious. It's more of a natural inner glow. And I think that that is what this palette does. I thought what we could do is swatch each one. So I've got, this is the six pan, so I'm gonna swatch it live for you. That's the first shade, that's dim light. That is 
diffuse light. So this is number three, which is the new one. And this is the strobe powder glistening strobe light. The next one is the bronzer, which is the new bronzer. And that one is natural bronze light. The next one is a new blush. This one is the strobe blush vibrant flush. And then the last one is the mood exposure, which is the final color. So that is the swatches of the six pan. Now that we've looked at the six pan, I thought we could look at the lipsticks. So I received the Confessions lipsticks. So this is the holiday Confessions lipstick for, I guess, this season. I'm going to pull it out and it comes in two colours. So it's refillable as well. And as all sort of Confessions are, one comes in the colour at dawn and one comes in the colour at dusk. It comes in this beautiful pen light and you see that, that's stunning. So this is at dawn. and it's really lovely. I mean, I love the Confessions lipsticks anyway. It suits this particular look. So what I will do is when I look at the other quad, I'll use the other lipstick so you can see. Let me get a little bit closer. So as you can see, it's a really lovely color. It's got quite peachy. Really, really nice. And if you look a bit closer, though, you can see the blush that I applied earlier and the highlight on my face and hopefully a little bit of the bronzer as well. And then I put dim light all over. Yeah, this is at dawn. The other thing that came that was in the set is the Lighting Edit Mini Sculpture Unlocked. Now what's amazing about this one is that all four colours are actually all new colours. So brand new. So this is going to be really exciting. Let's have a look. So one is a finishing powder, which is a soft light. Number two is a bronzer, which is a golden bronze light. So slightly different to the one in the six pan, which I believe the difference is this is a golden bronze light and the other one was a natural bronze light. So this one should be more intense, I think. This one has Mood Flush, which is a blush, which I don't think is, is, a, is I think this is a brand new colour. Yeah, because it's not in the six pan. And then the number four is called Metallic Strobe Powder, Champagne Strobe Light. So you basically get a finishing powder, you get a bronzer in here, you get a blush and you get a, a highlighter. So this is really great to take around with you as well. If you're looking to basically go somewhere and you just want something really nice and small, because all these four things serve a purpose. Purpose, so that's fantastic. So let me show you the packaging. Again, this is gorgeous. As you can see, you've got the hourglass. This one is different to the six pan because it has the rabbit. And I think that's because this one is 100% vegan. Now, I know that that's something that hourglass would have been trying to do. And this one looks like it could be just because of the fact that there is a rabbit on here. I forgot to mention this one has a 12 month shelf life. It has a 1.4 grams times four. That is in this one. The six this pan again is a 12 month shelf life and this one has 1.4 grams times six. So that is in the, the six pan. This is the four pan, I'm just gonna open it up. And this is gorgeous. I love this color and I love this color. I think it's really, really pretty. And actually in real life, the picture, I think the pictures don't really do it justice because in real life this looks stunning. So let's again use the same brush that I was using before. We're going to try and see how this looks with this particular look. So let's just revise again. So the first one is a finishing powder. So this is number one, which is the top left. The second one is a bronzer, which is the top right. The third one is a blush and the fourth one is a highlighter. I think this one's a lot more easier to work out which one's which uh, because there's four and they all serve a single purpose. So let's go with the bronzer first. I think let's try something a little bit different. So I'm just gonna go in with my fluffier side of the two. And I'm just gonna dab. This one doesn't have any marbling on, so this one reminds me a little bit of the Unlocked palette that Hourglass had released and then it was so popular because I think it worked really well with darker skin tones. And then what happened was it kind of disappeared and then it came back and then everyone was going crazy about it because you couldn't really get hold of it. And this kind of reminds me of that. So let's go in to the bronzer now. Already I can see pigmentation. It's gonna be a bit stronger. So let's put that on my face. So it's definitely giving me a warm glow. 
so I'm just going in definitely can see it more I'm just going to do a number three Yeah, definitely can see it more. And now I'm going to go in with this brush, same brush, same thing again. Just like that. Upper, number three. Again, same sort of thing. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this lovely blush because I have a feeling this blush is going to look really pretty. So I'm just going to go in with the smaller side because I just want to get sort of it on the right so I don't know if you can see that but it's showing up already it's there and I haven't blended it yet but let's just do a bit of yeah I like that yeah so going in same thing again this side I immediately can see some sort of the pigment is immediately coming through and you can see the colour coming through. So that is really nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the highlighter. So I'm going to take the smaller end. I'm just going to buff that out with the larger size just to buff out the blush a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take the smaller part of the brush and I'm going to dab into the highlight section and this one definitely feels like it's going to be more stronger oh yeah it's showing up already wow don't know if you can see that but it's definitely showing up again this side so a bit of highlight there and then just a little bit on my cupid bow nice and then a little bit on my brows and I'm just going to take the larger part of the brush again go into the finishing powder so literally just going to go all over the face because this is such a lovely color and sometimes I like to do this is take my bronzer and I'm going to put it on my eyelids because I think this is going to look really pretty I've got the Sonia G blender pro brush and I'm just going to go into the darker color and I'm literally just going to tap it onto my lids and literally go straight on and you know what it works this is quite a versatile palette because not only can you use this as a bronzer you can use it on your eyes as well and what I might do is put a little bit of that color on the lower part of my eyes as well so I've just got my Sonia G flat definer brush and I'm going into the brown part again and I'm just gonna basically put that underneath as a liner just like that as you can see it really it really works so I just put it there and under there I love this one. Although I've always been buying the six pan, it's wonderful that they've bought this out because it's almost like the unlocked, but like a miniature version of the unlocked. So the colors are a lot more stronger, especially on darker skin tones. I think this suits me better than the other palette. The other palette is really good for like an everyday kind of, you know, you just want to look like you've got a glow. Whereas this one, you can go with a little bit more color and it works. It gives me a little bit more color and it shows up on my skin better. This is a new finishing powder and that is soft light bronzer golden bronze light which is the second color and then we have the blush which is mood flush so this is new which is the third one and then the final one which is a metallic strobe powder in champagne strobe light So as you can see, for my skin tone, I think this one is a lot more friendly. Even though the other ones show as well, I feel like these have a bit more depth to it. So I think if you've got a darker skin tone, I would go for this palette, which is the four pan. If you have a lighter skin tone, then I would go for the six pan. But it doesn't mean that you can't, someone who is darker like myself can't use a six pan because a six pan, like I said, is good for everyday kind of use. So let's go in with the lipstick. Like I said, this is one of the Confessions lipsticks. This is the refillable lipstick duo sculpture. And this one is in the color At Dusk. So this is what At Dusk looks like. 
So because this looks a little bit more intense and I think this will be really good for the evening, I'm going to use At Dusk. Basically what I did was I replaced the refillable part and I put At Dusk in instead of At Dawn just so that I can apply it easily. I think At Dawn is more of a kind of natural colour as you saw from my previous clip in my video but At Dusk is a lot more of a evening colour and I think this is going to look really pretty so let's see how this looks. So this is at dusk. So this is with a little bit more extra application at dusk. So you can have a look at how pretty this one is. That is the full collection. So just before I finish, I'll just tell you how much product is in At Dusk um, and the At Dawn uh, lipstick. So you get, this is an 18 month shelf life and you get uh, 9 point, 0.9 grams of product in each lipstick. And then I thought it'd be easier to just swatch it straight away and just show it to you on the screen. But these are the two Confessions lipsticks in the holiday collection. So the first one is At Dawn and then the second one is At Dusk. As you can see, they both look really good on on darker skin tones as myself so it's a great set to get it will look lovely so yeah just so that you can see that so these are my final thoughts i love both of them i'd say that i have a preference and this is the first time that i've ever had a preference with hourglass because normally i love all hourglass products i really really love the ambient lighting edit mini sculpture unlocked and the reason i really like it is i think it's really versatile number one and i also think that each of the products in there serve a purpose so when you look at it it's a lot easier to use than the six pan so for example i look at this and i think right there's my overall powder there's my bronzer because it's darker there's my blush because it has that kind of pinky color and there's my highlight it's just really easy to understand sort of how to use the palette the other thing i would also say is there are no rules with makeup as you know that bronzer can be used as a eyeshadow as well which i absolutely love the highlight i'm sure you could do a lot with that other than just using it as a highlight you could use it on your eyes as well if you wanted to the same thing with the blush the blush actually could be used as a eyeshadow too and it can also you know there's lots of different ways you could use it and i just think it's just so versatile this palette and that's what i love about this one i think my concern with the six pan is i really like it but i feel like i've seen it before i really want them to do something different for next holiday i feel like it needs to be i don't know whether it the colors are a little bit more deeper or I feel as though to put three of the colors that they already existed and already had it's great for people that have not tried the brand before but for someone like me who is a hardcore hourglass fan I have those colors already so the three colors that I mentioned before so dim light diffuse light and I think the mood exposure it's really nice that they've got new colors in here when it comes to the blush and then you've got the strobe blush and then you've got that sort of bronze light bronzing on the on the corner so I just think that out of the two I'd probably pick up the little one more because of the fact that I have a lot of these other colors already that's just coming from me as someone who's used hourglass for most of my life if you're brand new to the brand then this is going to be fantastic and if you've not tried hourglass before then I would definitely say get the six pan if you've tried hourglass and you've got a lot of hourglass and unless you're a hardcore fan then I'd say it's not necessary that you can just get the four pan which I actually really really like and the four pan has surprised me. It wasn't what I was expecting. Then when it comes to the Confessions lips, so the, the two lips, I really love this one for the evening. I think it's a really lovely look and you can't go wrong with this color. At Dawn is really nice for that kind of daily look. So I think At Dawn really suits the six pan palette. At Dusk actually suits the four pan palette for me anyway. I have no qualms about these two. That's, that's my full review. If you have any questions or thoughts on comments you wanna make on this collection, please let me know. I'd love to hear your experiences with Hourglass, what you like about Hourglass, what you have from previous collections and what you think. And yeah, I'm glad that I'm able to share this with you so quickly. I hope to post this very, very shortly for you so you can enjoy it and have some time to think about what you want to get before it officially launches in a few weeks time. But other than that, if you do like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for new videos uploaded weekly. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.